Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure in welcoming all the participants, resource person, moderator, and student discussions to the webinar number 91 on strategies for student success in English language learning organized by English Language Teachers Association of India. Let us watch the promo video of Eltai. couple of instructions. Participants can raise their questions in chat box and the certificates will be given for only students, LTI members and foreign nationals. The feedback link will be sent to the registered email ID and uh, will be posted in chat box before the closure of this webinar. It gives me immense pleasure in welcoming the resource person of uh, today's webinar, Ms. Priyanka Batkodi, Principal, Maxford School, Dwaraka, New Delhi, for having accepted our invitation to be the resource person for today's webinar. And I, on behalf of ELTI, welcome the moderator of uh, today's session, Ms. Deepika Sharma, Headmistress, Senior Secondary, Maxford School, Dwaraka, for having accepted to moderate this session. 
She is heading the examination and the computer science department. She is an accomplished CBSC resource person for her teacher training. As an educator, she strongly believes in the use of technology to improve the teaching learning experience and to provide students with the education they need to com compete at a global scale. Over 14 years in the education field, she has been responsible to achieve academic benchmark development of learning strategies to give students the mindset and skill sets they require to succeed and career guidance in higher education. I wholeheartedly welcome the student discussions, Mr. Arnab Saha and uh, Ms. Ridima Dayal for uh, being part of this wonderful webinar. Now I do invite the moderator of today's webinar, Ms. Deepika Sharma, to take over the session. Thank you. Thank you, sir. A very good evening to all participants. And I thank you, Eltai, for conducting this wonderful session, which is the need of the hour. It is rightly said, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. It is my proud privilege to introduce today's resource person, Ms. Priyanka Bhatkoti, the school principal, Maxwood School, Dwarka, New Delhi. Ma'am is a renowned educationist, actively involved in the development of educational best practices in the country. An alumna of the prestigious convent of Jesus and Mary, Dehradun, she has taught at premium educational institutions in Panjim and Gujarat. A University of Cambridge CELTA qualified professional, she works with the belief that quality education can easily be made accessible and affordable to all. She is an acclaimed CBSE resource person for teacher training. She is the chapter head for English Language Teachers Association of India, Delhi West. Ma'am is keenly involved with the development of curriculum and assessments at CBSC and other premier developmental agencies. The recipient of many awards by leading educational organizations, her latest accomplishments are leading in the field of content development on pedagogical leadership, teaching, learning, and assessments, especially with relation to CBSC. Ma'am is a renowned content developer of critical pedagogy, dealing with misbehavior, conducive learning environment, happy teachers, happy classrooms, and effective communication skills at CBSC. She is a trainer for principals across the world. We welcome you, ma'am, for this wonderful session I would also like to inform participants that it's going to be a very engaging session on a topic that is very pertinent in today's times, which is strategies for student success in English language learning. This session will focus on analyzing what is expected, not just by describing or summarizing, but about the cue and the stimulants uh, that are required and are expected to be seen in the paper in the board exams for classes 12th and 10th. How to respond to questions? Uh, we will also look into the question phrasing, response expectations, and appropriacy with respect to allotted marks. So participants, I want everybody to be very, very, uh, what do I say? We should be very, very informed and we should be very uh, engaging. I want everybody to be very involved in the session while we are welcoming our school principal, Ms. Priyanka Bhatkoti, Maxwood School, Dwarka, New Delhi, the resource person for today's session. We welcome you, ma'am. Uh, thank you so much, Deepika, ma'am, and Dr. Shankar Kumar, sir. And I thank each one of the uh, attendees who has taken out time, uh, their valuable time, so that we actually work out a wonderful learning graph for all the students who are entrusted to us. And in the process, our own career progression takes the upward curve. So a very warm welcome to everybody who's in the learning community, which is being spearheaded by the efforts of LTI India. I'm very grateful to LTI for bringing such relevant topics 
to the whole community. And first and foremost, for the thumb rule for language learning here, we are going to have a unique vocabulary. And this is going to be a very interactive uh, discussion or a learning session or a platform. I would request the participants who are there to give A for agree, a D for disagree. And yes, we will have our own unique vocabulary of learning, which is going to step into here in this session uh, where we all are participants and co-learners. This is going to be a constructivist session. So each one of you who's present right now has the opportunity to construct the training session or the learning session, as I would like to put it, because I'm going to learn from all of you as well. So the more you punch in the chat box, the more value you will be adding because we are going to have a lot of input since you are all practitioners. You are from the community of educationists, you are students or you are parents each one of us will have our own key take takeaways out of the session here. So the very first thing that I'd like to bring to everybody is that in a class, and I'm not talking just of a language class, there is a component where the teacher does the talking. So that is the teacher talk time. Give me a triple T in the chat box for a teacher talk time. It is a very important component of the learning and the understanding that happens in the chat in the in the classroom so let me have a triple t in the chat box let's see how many of us are listening carefully because when the language develops oh there madrima is the fast fingers with simrit uh, apurva and we have pushpa vandana martina etc so the triple trees are rolling in the next thing which is a direct corollary is the student talk time now talk can be also replaced in the technology world with the chat in the chat box out there so the student talk time is a stt S and a double T. May I have S followed by two T's in the chat box from everybody. These are two terms which have to be understood well by any teacher. They have to be transacted in the right measure. That's what I popularly tell all my team members, students, parents, and teachers alike here. STT. The moment the balance is right between what the teacher is sharing and what the students are sharing, we have the recipe for success there. Yes. All right. Now I'd like to come over to the guidelines. Uh, a little of these, we are going to again have the second slide on the screen there, which is a repeat of what Dr. Shankar Kumar had already shared with you. That feedback links will be there. Your chat box at this moment, technology has given us a huge level playing field in our interactions on the online teaching out there. In a class, we might be able to give a chance to one child to speak at a time out there. It's almost like the talking stick. But in the online world, the chat box is there for everybody. So the learning becomes more democratic. And the more you write and the more you have interactions which are focused on the content. Now, please remember the word Focus. Give me an F in the chat box for focus. Yes, we're going to move to the next slide out there where I have a, a wonderful word there, proactivity. F for focus, everybody. Let me see how much, how many of us are clued in. And your responsiveness, great. Garima, Shaksham, Vishal, the F has come. The focus has to be on the content that is being taught out there. The more the interaction, the more the chances are that students will make meaning of what is being taught. The connect the dots will happen. And the learning objectives will result in learning outcomes being very high. Now, when we are teachers and when we are students, because every teacher is a student, every student can become a teacher, is a teacher for their peers and for their juniors, etc. Remember, proactivity works. Now, how does that translate to student success out there? If you are a student in grade six or you're a teacher in grade six or a teacher in grade seven or a teacher in grade five, Please remember that here we need to deepen the knowledge. The depth of knowledge has to be high. A DOK, the whole teaching fraternity or the educational world is looking into student success being measured in terms of the depth of knowledge of the teacher. So we, the teaching teacher fraternity, have to have very, very strong depth 
depth of knowledge dok in the chat box dok harsh thank you and shubhi goel has already given the dok in the chat box out there remember to keep your discussion focused to what we are doing out here dok the depth of knowledge that is demonstrated by the teacher in teaching will definitely translate into deeper knowledge learning for the students that we have in the class so proactively we must look at the syllabus that we are teaching and enhance our knowledge be it about the authors whom we are going to teach what was the times that they were living in so the context is very clear or be it how our students are learning we do have three kinds of learners the visual the kinesthetic and the auditory many students learn through hearing some learn through seeing visual pictures there and a lot of them learn through doing and experiential learning has to be an integral part the more we take care of the learning styles of our students out there the better are the learning outcomes outcomes which are being achieved here yes if you agree give me an a in the chat box and if you disagree a d is okay but do justify why you disagree there let me see with a poll with a a or a d in the chat box yes we are going to move over to the next slide so as a teacher i must know myself at first then i need to know the students i have in my class what kind of learners they are if they are strong visual learners visual inputs displays in the classroom the ppts even the work sheets and the question papers that we create should have a strong visual component to it yes auditory learners in senior classes usually are least in number a lot of them are still kinesthetic learners in the classes especially primary classes out there please make sure to have activities which engage now the next part is very important from kavi begin with the end in mind please give me in the chat box which is the highest class in the school that you are teaching if you are a school teacher obviously in college also you would have classes there so we have a fair idea if you are in a school now we are talking about school that's our context which has a class 12 as the senior most class let me have a poll out there please mention the senior most class in the organization that you are working in or associated with so pushpa is in a school with a class 12 padmaja has a grade 10 and there are some who have class 8 i am not asking your the class that you are teaching i am asking which is the highest class that your 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 school students pass out of and if you are in a college obviously it will be a post graduate or a doctoral that is coming across so whichever level you are the teacher find out the question paper of the highest level so that we know what are we training our students for finally so begin with the end in mind now since we are talking about student success and i'm focusing very solely on school teaching at this point of time but the template may also work in colleges out there so please if you are teaching in a sixth you need to know what is a class 10 paper going to be like yes you as a teacher needs to know this if you are there in a class 11 you need to know the class 12 paper which may be the last paper, uh, class of your school education that is happening out there if you are there in a primary deepen your knowledge by knowing the the the, the kind of question paper that comes across and automatically we will have cues on what we need to make our students strong in yes so begin with the end in mind out here what are we going to achieve you need to have a goal we i'll give you a sample here we'll move to the next slide for example the term to paper of class 12 english maybe something like this where you have a comprehension passage when you look at it you have a fair idea of the kind of vocabulary the students are expected to know you will have a fair idea with the kind of fluency that they need to have to be able to manage time well there and yes you will have an idea of the section of the question papers so automatically there has to be a wash back give me a w in the chat box for a, for a wash back a wash back that okay i am an english teacher in a grade 6 i need to take care of reading writing and literature in every class that i am taking care of for students the wash back has to be the component is going to be a reading a writing and a literature out there am i every day cementing these three facets in my learning and how can i take care of that now look at this passage which has come here so there is a reading out there and 
it is talking in the first paragraph about the movie Jaws. Is it possible for us to give our students that please watch this movie? The second paragraph has the mention of a magazine of international repute like a National Geographic out there. And yes, the story is about sharks out there. Can a grade five or a grade six teacher look into discussing such kind of passages, but make the content age appropriate for them? Is it a possibility? Please give me a P in the chat box so that the students are getting the nourishment and it is not just class 12 teacher or the student alone working for that class 12 because every staircase or the step has to lead to the destination. Yes, W. Great. Thank you. Uh, P's are coming in from Padmaja to yeah, uh, Bhumika to Shalini and Garima. And here, everybody, thank you so much for those responses in the chat box. Let's move over to the next slide. Now, you look at the marks weightage out there in the scheme of the question paper, and automatically you will come to know that reading is very, very important. Now, uh, uh, with your listening, speaking, reading, and writing, yes, these are very important out there. But listening and speaking, uh, every day we translate. Like right now, I am speaking and you are listening. Sometimes you will speak and I will listen out there. So these are facets that we cannot forget from the very first entry level class, which is there in the school there. Yes, we're going to move over to the next slide there. And here we have a little bit of the samples. We'll roll the slide. And we have out there the questions, the kind of questions, the one markers which are there, site, state, look at the words which are there, wise, wise, rewriting, what does the use of the phrase benign light, so meaning, select suitable phrases, apex, uh, you have a question about praise and predators out there, and analysis, look at the kind of questions that the students are expected to answer, can we make these questions a part of our daily teaching learning routine for students? We need to look into this is Bloom's taxonomy at its best from recall to create out there an analysis bottom of the pyramid simple question top of the pyramid creatively linked questions out there. Can we have BT in the chat box for Bloom's taxonomy? So please refer to the Bloom's taxonomy. Make your students aware about it. Give me a BT in the chat box for Bloom's taxonomy out there. And automatically you have a pyramid of learning, which we the teachers need to know. And we have to educate our students and parents also about the same. We'll move to the next slide and we have something very interesting. We'll move further and we have a page which has got a graphical analysis. Now, this is a percentage of food consumption pattern displayed in figure one out here. Look at the part of data getting integrated with language. We are talking about big data in a major manner. Can I have BD in the chat box for big data? Now, data obviously will have an inference and an analysis along with that part out there. Data, please give me the word data in the chat box. We we are getting a huge amount of data earlier if it was a few pages that we read now you move across be it the whatsapp be it the social media handles be it the email that you are transacting with on a daily basis there is huge amount of data that our students will be expected to analyze in real time life out there and education is fruitful and is meaningful if it can be applied in real life day in and day out make an effort to integrate data data and analysis in our uh, in our classes, especially language classes, because language, the words allow us to give the inferences and the conclusions there. It's very important. So the interdisciplinary approach will help our students big time. Yes. So we can easily work with the math department in our uh, in our schools there, carry out surveys, bring the surveys into a natural part of our analysis there, not a big racket, not a big, big, big task here for us to achieve out here. Yes. 
can be easily achieved now the washback has to be that in junior classes also we bring that in a most simplified form yes the quantity and the quality matters give me a qq in the chat box both for quantity and quality so that it is age appropriate in our different levels out there remember rome was not built in a day and to build our students and to build our departments or our career we have to work every day and each one of you is already doing it it's almost 5 pm on a sunday you are extremely dedicated yes so quantity and quality out there junior classes obviously it is going to be lesser and senior classes can be more complex we are moving on so here please do make data analysis a strong component i have a humble request students look into the page which is there of stocks and analysis and newspapers every day you have data there cricket scores or sports scores data and i'm sure you will be able to pick in as teachers topics which your students identify with students are fond of start with cricket it's a hot favorite it's a national favorite out there if you integrate those it will make sense students would love discuss bring data of your own school into your passages out there bring the names of your students into the passages so that again there are great connections which are getting made now when we are making questions we are working very strongly that india also defines at the level of pisa uh, internationally our students and our nationals have done very well but look at the critical and the creative literacy they can be developed you give a passage why should it be only the teacher who is making the question ask your children to frame a couple of questions but you must give exemplars give me an e in the chat box for exemplar for example i have given you an exemplar of a question paper out there it has got questions can you easily ask your students to create questions because definitely if students can create questions their mind will be fired to look in the answers if it is a possibility and easily doable give me a d in the chat box yes i'd like to have d comes in chat box out here i'd like already like to mention a lot of organizations are already working very strongly with that and they're getting fabulous results with involvement of students and teacher community yes we are there to empower our students such strategies make them very strong and automatically they know how to get the right answers as well yes we are going to move to the next slide all right we have your uh, you have the reading section you have the writing section where you might have a situation uh, vacant a volunteer part over here remember our students will be strong students if we teach them to be volunteers the themes that come in such papers will give you clues about what is important in the real time world there students with excellent grades who carry strong volunteer experience are able to write about it speak about it will be naturally selected in group discussions in college as well as in recruitment pa parameters please make that a strong integral part of your teaching practices and yes literature section is very very important look at the questions which are there and obviously such questions with the different texts that you are dealing with transacting with can easily be created yes literature section typically students find it very easy because that is a content which is taught to them in the class you have discussed with them they have sample answers the comprehension passages they sometimes find it difficult if it is about a topic that they have read very little about or you they have not transacted in much and at times the creative part can also be a little tough for some students because the topic is such that they may not have attempted that before so literature is something which is very easily done so here do give that part and that time to literature so that students spend time on it it is within easy reach it is a low hanging fruit for the students to do well in teachers please teach them yes now look at the kind of marks weightage out there a two marks out or a four marks out accordingly teach them time management and how much content or value points have to be given our students have to be taught a measure of how much for a one marker you cannot be spending 30 minutes and two sheets of answers with 20 value points there has to be a start time there has to be a closure time and we have to finish our targets on time so give me ot in the chat box for on time let me see that because 
it's possible that we teach like this session will finish with the syllabi in precisely an hour's time. So we have to do justice to what we have to come and we have to train our students. Yes, because time management is where some students falter. Yes, Madhurima, Ara, Bhumika, Arun and Roshni and Mohan Sundram. Everybody, thank you for your responses there. We'll move further. Yes. Now look at the part out here. We'll move further. These are again samples. 120 to 150 words. It's a very good idea in grade 11 and 12 to train our students into statement of purpose, SOPs as they are called, because they will have to write it for their college or university admission. Please give me an SOP in the chat box. In junior classes, their statement of purpose for a year can be done with the children so that they're doing their goal setting. Yes. So goal setting with the counseling department, with your in charges can be easily done. Garima, thank you for SOP. SOPs are very important, very important part for student success at university level. Their scholarships may be determined by this, etc. So the training must come through the teachers in the school itself. We are moving on. The same part, letter of recommendation. If students have to do SOP, we the teachers should be accomplished and letter of recommendations because we need to write them to colleges, to universities. So we must have those anecdotal records with us. So we are able to share with the people across what the strengths of our students are. So please give me LOR in the chat box. LOR, the letter of recommendations. Especially English teachers, we should be able to create value reliable and excellent letter of recommendations for our students here a lot of information is available onto the university websites regarding the same please with your department in charges work on that we are going to move further now descriptors for content are there you have the literature look at the sample of value points and guidance the sample question papers or the marking scheme is the next important thing Everybody, don't just look at the question paper, look at the marking scheme. We are going to move to the previous slide a little bit more. Similarly, when you have the question paper, you must discuss the solution with the students so that they become strong. And two strategies, skimming and scanning. We'll move back to the previous slide. Skimming, when the question paper comes, skim through the content so that we are able to have the general idea. Every day the data get comes to us, we skim through it and scanning is looking for particular information we'll move to the previous so please give me an s and s in the chat box s for skimming the question paper please skim through the question paper and those students who are able to read through it twice have a better understanding make better choices out here so in the class also when you're training the students please train them into skimming through worksheets into skimming through chapters and scanning this is a valuable tool that you have to skim Kill your students in skimming and scanning. Very, very important from the primary to the middle to the secondary. Very important. And we, the teachers, have to be extremely ex uh, uh, proficient at this. So the massive amount of corrections that come to us when we are good at it, we are able to do, do full justice to the same. Yes. Again, we'll move further to the next slide. Okay. You have the section out here, skimming and scanning. Please train your students also into reading the content before they are coming to the class. So a pre-reading is very important, especially for English teachers, so that the understanding is, uh, is what is developed in the class. Especially in senior classes, there is daily a tussle between what has to be accomplished, the syllabus and time. Every day we are running a marathon. If you agree, give me an M in the chat box. Let me see how many M's come here in the chat box. So pre-reading, with the pre-reading, give a pre-reading task to the students, which comes to you so that you know how well the students have done it and whether they have made some, 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 uh, uh, you know, uh, understanding out of it so a pre-reading task is very important for your your sessions and for your training and your teaching to be successful students it's very very important for you because then in the class the time that you have is the valuable currency which allows you to learn more because you already have the background academic knowledge now that's the next word please write b a k in the chat box for background academic knowledge the more the students 
students have background academic knowledge, the more proficient they are in answering and getting student success. That's the aim. Uh, a B, you can give me a B for background academic knowledge. It's very important. So if you have content with Shakespeare coming in grade 10, it's very important that grade 9 and 8 give students uh, a little background knowledge on Shakespeare. If it's... Uh, uh, William Wordsworth that we're talking about, or maybe any other author who's very relevant, do a wash back into junior classes so that the students come with the requisite knowledge and then the task becomes easy. It's the same as what the best corporates do. A bigger task broken into smaller tasks is easily done. Give me an E in the chat box for the same. Yes. Okay, Dr. Vinod Chopra has given a lovely thought out here. Yes, sir, I agree because sticking to word limits really helps. We should train our students not to waste time. Yes, and over there, if we are having pages and pages which are not stuck to the word limit, even if there is no penalty attached, the student would not have time towards the end of the uh, question paper or their answer script to, to finish the task given to them. So time management is very, very important. Yes. All right, we are going to move over. So a tough task or tough task can be made very easy. Now, let me come over to the learning strategies. We all are, are trained teachers. Uh, so beards are there. Other teacher trainings are there. All of you are very accomplished. But we have to recap what we learned at that point of time. So in learning strategies, direct strategies are very important by practicing, by repetition, by writing keywords many times so that our spellings are correct and we, we, we get, get the design desired outcomes there. We move further to the next slide. This is very, very important. Uh, students should be trained to speak repeatedly in front of the mirror. They should be trained to record their voice so that they know that the pronunciation, the diction, the intonation is correct. And doing the exercise several times and recognizing patterns, it's very important. Give me a P in the chat box for patterns. The moment students learn to recognize a pattern, their learning is higher order. Their learning is higher order and that's what we are there to lead them to as teachers there. Receiving and sending messages is very important. Analyzing and reasoning is important. Creating structures for input and output is very, very important. Train the students to highlight so that when their content is being submitted or when they are revising, they know what the important value points are. Because again, for students, it's massive content that they need to go through. And for the teachers also, it's the same story. Yes, like we have highlighted in this page also. So visual and multiple intelligences can be used in a variety of ways so that I learning is higher order. We are going to move on to the next slide. And then we after the uh, direct strategies, we are going to come over to the indirect strategies. Or rather, we are going to have the memory strategies, which is next slide here. Uh, creating mental linkages is very, very important. Associating new information, language information with familiar concepts, mnemonic devices can be used. Applying images is very important. Imagery, representing sounds in memory and semantic mapping out here. Compensation strategies are equally important, like guessing, especially at times of where you have multiple choice, choice questions. Look at the linguistic clues. Look at what the discriminators are. Look at what the eliminator, eliminators are. Many times students can arrive at the right conclusion and answer through elimination as well. Give me an E in the chat box for elimination. Please train the students because these are, are tricks or strategies that they will use not just in school but maybe for SATs or competitive exams with logic and reasoning and language a very strong important part of the same here. We're going to move further. Yes. Indirect strategies, metacognitive strategies, center your learning. Teachers, we will have to center our learning. We will have to train our students into centering learning. And this is across all subjects over here. These are templates for success. We need to pay attention, deciding in advance to concentrate on the main points. Arranging and planning learning, organizing, preparing a language learning notebook. It should be there with teachers as our own self-analysis. 
it should be there with our students that how do you learn and this is what i enjoyed learning this is what i could have done better so self reflective practices encourage them if there is a diary writing which you are training students please please my humble request to you train them into self analysis and self reflection give me an essay in the chat box for self analysis students who have their own direction and their compass very strong are are the students who add strength and value to a class give me an essay for self analysis train students into this then you as a teacher would not have to tell them that this is where you made a mistake and you need to become better the moment your students are trained into it they will come back to you that ma'am in comprehension passage here in uh, or maybe in literary devices i have a challenge please let's recap give me areas where i can strengthen my knowledge and you have a recipe for success yes yeah ruth uh, i agree with what your statements are there especially in college yes we'll move further again seeking practice opportunities please a, a wealth of devices are available a wealth of knowledge is available practicing with others in the classroom would help reading books and instruction in manuals helps usually the manuals are not read of the electronic devices if those can become over as your assignments which you do in the class out there it would help them writing to friends and family experiential learning please give me el in the chat box when the students are writing to editors on a very important cause make them write to real editors so that they're taking care of roads around them we are going to have enlightened citizens then out there and students will understand the power of words yes el for experiential learning very very important Ex active experimentation students will take value in that if you are teaching them an informal letter make them write to their grandparents to their fathers to their mothers to their brothers and sisters if it's about email they should be able to it's very disappointing when we have even grown ups not able to write application so application writing is very important then make them do that creating applications for their banks filling application for their bank account etc it's very very important not just as part of the curriculum but as part of real time learning please train them into evaluating their own learning self monitoring we the teachers have to practice learn from previous errors because mistakes are a great way to learn and to improve mistake correction give me mc in the chat box your brilliant students will also make mistakes at times and you also as a teacher please keep yes uh, garima I, i agree so, uh, so, uh, sustainable development goals will be covered and we will have accomplished citizens across the world there yes that's what we are looking forward to mistake correction unfortunately in senior classes primary classes a lot of correction work is done be it spellings be it sentence correction etc in senior classes this is a neglected area and that is why the percentage that the student is able to get remains the same does not improve those i, I had the pleasure to interact with toppers of certain competitive examination they said the trick was to analyze what did we do wrong because where you did wrong in practice that's the area for improvement do a gap analysis and turn it into an opportunity to learn so please gaps have to be turned into opportunity to learn the moment you as teacher see that all students have made a mistake in note making turn it into an opportunity that we need to revise it make the children do it again because then their percentage marks will improve your subject average will improve your class average will improve you will be a happy teacher your students will be happy students the parent community will be happy and you will have a very happy principal who is working with you if you agree give me an a in the chat box yes so mistake correction senior classes especially please note your percentage will improve with mistake correction this is an important part that you must make your students do and if they do that your percentage will improve yes agree all the a's are coming thank you so much everybody senior section teachers i know corrections can be tedious at times but now we have a lot of tools where automatic corrections are there flash for the students 
actual uh, exemplars. Now, this is the next part. Uh, boards like CBSC give you the centum papers. They upload on their website. I'm sure other state boards and other boards also do that. Take and read through those exemplar answer scripts of students who've scored full marks. Go through it. Let's share the same with your students, even students in middle years that look, this is a fantastic ask answer script. Yes, Lakshmi, I agree with you. An error analysis method is advisable in contents and all subjects it works out. So the process we have to figure and we have to train our students into this and then we will have self-directed learners. Now, the next part is very important I, and I call them as the beacons. This is the lighthouse which will help the teachers and the department improve the moment you have the highest classes and you have the result for example a, a 12th a 9th a 10th might be there do an analysis where the strengths were where the strengths were do the analysis on where the areas of improvement were like maybe you will have the part that okay informal letter a lot of uh, your uh, format mistakes were there get back in your school in your department where were they introduced if informal letter was in, introduced in grade four get back to grade four teachers that we need to train our students better over there. So that is the washback effect that I'm talking with about. Yes. Comprehension passages. If you are noticing all passages given to students and HODs, you have a very important role to play here are about environment. Make sure that there is make sure that there is a greater genre that is being done into out there. So it can be about environment. It can be about the economy. It can be about sports, etc. Time management is very important. But before that, the backward planning, I am linking it with the annual calendar. We, the teachers, need to know how many working days we have. Give it to the students as well. Plan it out that how many for the pre-boards. Now, this is an annual calendar for grade 12. You can have similar calendar for every class and for students as well. So how many days of studies do you get? Break that up into different parts. Yes, we are going further. Yes, Deerat sir, you may agree with the surprise tests or not. It depends on the teacher who's teaching a class there. I, I agree. Sometimes it's always better to let the students know. But on the spot, if you want to evaluate how well the students have learned there, you, you uh, everybody should have that freedom to be able to do so. Yes. So we have different thought process. A teacher who's teaching a group of students uh, is the right person to decide what the need of the R is. I'm sure you will all agree with that part here. We'll move to the next slide. Planning is very important. Poonam, I agree with you. Over there, we move to the next slide. And here in the next slide, we have a time management slide. Now, this is what we have practiced with our students this time. We'll move to the next slide where all the students, while they were doing the pre-boards or the test analysis, were given a sheet like what we are able, about to flash on the screen for you. So what we did is all the invigilators out there, uh, we'll come over to the next slide. There seems to be a little bit of a technical lag here. And I'll explain. We gave a slide for analysis to all students because we want strong, independent learners. Yes. Now, this was given to all our students of 10th and 12th in their pre-board examination. So they analyzed how much time they took to answer the section A, the section B, and section C. We'll come over. And the students entered that part out there. Do you think it is very valid? And you can do it in your own schools with your own students as well. Dheeraj sir, there has to be a regular practice. And Dr. G. Ramakrishna Prasad, I'm very grateful for the part there that you've shared. There is a little bit of a technical lag, but I'm sure you are able to hear me. So we made the students enter there exactly how much time they took for uh, section A, section B, and section C. Reading time is already given by the board out there. Then we saw how many of them revised the question paper and how much time they took. So automatically the students come got attuned they saw that they were spending too much time in section a and as a result section c they had less time so the analysis came back out there yes i hope uh 
again lakshmi i agree with you it has to be consistency because if there is no consistency in what we do and how we do it will not be as effective so the effectiveness and the efficacy has to increase there yes so again can you please create a structure because for every school for every teacher it will be unique but the next part is very important you don't just leave it at that as an english teacher as a teacher or a class teacher or any other subject teacher look to and analyze where the maximum time was spent and how much time it should have actually taken go back to the students and train them at the end students looked up to you for guidance do you agree with me or not parents are looking up to you at guidance and that's why teachers are respected so much out there yes so it's very important that such kind of analysis be carried out there the next part is in your daily plan as english teachers please have a weekly plan where you are taking care of listening speaking reading and writing especially reading writing and literature especially for the purpose of exams because now we are about to uh, have the board exams in the month of april there daily plan should have reading and literature and writing and literature uh, on alternate days out there you can work it out based on how well your students know so teachers we need to know ourselves we need to know our students very well now the next part the genres of literature is very very important and we have the luxury of time in junior classes classes from preschool to class 9 in 10th 11th and 12th the reading habits the reading habits have to be very strongly set in our students in the primary years itself so please write py in the chat box for primary py in the chat box for primary to be written there yes so all those teachers or department in charges the teachers have to read a wide genre of books there and the students will take care of it as well see if i were to show you my room here uh, this uh, there is there are a couple of shelves almost 3 to 4 genres i am reading on a daily basis yeah. from what's happening in corporate divika ma'am thank you for coming back there because we are about to give over the baton to you and the student moderators make sure that there is there are myths there are novels there is fiction there is non fiction we've already covered it uh, poems out there what was science fiction in the 70s 80s with isaac asimov i was reading has become the truth or the reality in our daily life now so please make it an integral part of the reading an integral part of what you are discussing in the class what you give as reading list to the students so that the students find it very easy to answer the comprehension passage now i want you to write two or three words when i, I am closing my part so that the student moderation can happen roi return on investment yes uh, uh, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration you have genius in your class each one of you is a genius teacher each one of your students is a genius student out there please remember that the return on investment when we invest in language learning is very high because every subject students learn through the language the medium of instruction now the comprehension passage is something that students get to do from class 1 to grade 12 case studies have comprehension involved with them out there please focus and put common sense into common practice and automatically you have a recipe for success comprehension passages are usually unknown text for students but if they have read a lot of books if they have traveled a lot read through a lot of blogs out there heard a lot of relevant podcast it becomes easy but if students are not reading and if teachers are not reading the easy becomes difficult so it's the role of the teacher to make learning easy for students so that they are creating success stories all around us and now i welcome two of our wonderful students arna as well as ridhima and dipika ma'am as the moderator to share recipes of success yes again what we are talking about is something that we practice and we have had very rich returns in the investment of time and energy and a knowledge that has been put forth out here so over to our students now thank you so much ma'am for your valuable guidelines uh, regarding the strategies with english learning uh, we have our student discussions so i want to introduce them first so, and then we take on the session we have arnav saha who is an assiduous student who has the ability of analyzing things in a rational manner he is a high school 
head boy of Maxwell School, Dwarka, New Delhi, and earner enthusiastically participates and involves in scholastic and post-scholastic activities uh, and in competition where, where he has won positions and brought laurels to the school. He is an ardent learner and is always willing to excel in the tasks at hand. Then we have Ridhima Dayal, who is an industrious student who demonstrates great perseverance and commitment. She is also the member of the High School Student Council as the Amethyst House Captain at Maxwell School, Dwarka, New Delhi. She is always interested and motivated to learn the concepts and assimilate it with her own experience to develop new ideas about which uh, that she takes uh, carries on with ethical topic being discussed. Ridhima has actively participated in International Academic Decathlon, the World Scholars Cup at the regional level. She has great aptitude for learning, creativity and originality, which makes her an excellent student. All right. So I have a few que questions for you students. So may I start with Ridhima only first? Okay. Yes, yes. Ridhima, how, how have you become an effective an English effective language educator? Now, some points I would like to mention. Uh, first of all, good morning to everyone that's present here. I'm a student of Maxwell School, Dwarka. And the pointers I would start with is something that has been mentioned by Priyanka Ma'am earlier, is reading novels or books that catch your interest. Students might give uh, defending arguments that uh, novels have been depict depicted through movies and we can watch that. But novels, um, it has an originality. It boosts your, I would say, imagination and having a dictionary which i have learned the past year having a dictionary of all kinds including all words you you can sit with that dictionary and that novel and that would really boost your vocabulary because vocabulary is something that's important while we are communicating in our conversational skills as well as while we are writing our examination second and something that's very important is being vocal about your doubts Sometimes we hesitate in sharing our doubts or maybe hesitate in asking questions to the teachers because we feel that's a very uh, petty topic to ask the teachers about. And if that topic occurs or comes in the examination, that is some at a point where we face difficulties. So being vocal about your doubts, constantly asking questions because faculty, the teachers are always going to be present for you. So take the full advantage of that and definitely keep on revising, keep on revising your syllabus, keep on revising the writing practices, write new letters. There is so much available on the internet that you can take. You can take up the word pronunciations, letters, new vocabulary, so many YouTube videos. I know we waste our time watching videos that have no necessity and I wouldn't deny watching those, but if we reduce the amount of entertainment and increase that time of internet that the time that, that we spend on internet on something that would increase the productivity in english language that would help you a lot in communication as well as when you're sitting for examinations all right thank you Ridhima. i think reading is the gist and writing so practice is one very important thing that you focused upon and your inputs i think the students will take very valuably all right now we have arna with us arna let us know how would you guide other students on importance of english language First of all, good evening to the August gathering present over here. I will ask everybody to imagine a certain situation first. You are a person residing in any country ABC and you move to a European country for a visit of suppose 10 days, say Germany. In all likeliness, you are not knowing German language. You go there, you wish to communicate with the people and you are not able to communicate. But if you know English language, it's very easy. You can communicate with all the people over there who are aware okay. of English language. English is a language which not only helps you in English as a subject, but other subjects as well, as it helps you develop your analytical reasoning, the comprehensions, the unseen passages, which we do in English language, the analytical writing paragraphs, which we write in English. It not only helps us in scoring marks in English, but it also helps us in subjects like science and mathematics, where it actually tests, tests our aptitude. So I would like to suggest all the students to focus on all the aspects of the language, which is reading, writing, 
listening. So, Ardav, I also wanted to ask, how will you motivate other students of understanding the importance of English language? Give me one motivation as well. Uh, Is there an anecdote that you would have from your schooling days, how a teacher motivated you? And maybe out there and Ridhima, you could share something which triggered you or motivated you to do better? English as a communicator, that means that is the linkage with all other subjects is how you mentioned. So that would be one important reason, I think, yes. that will help students take it up as an important uh, subject, language, and uh, an important link. Link out there. Right? I yeah. think this is what is and the gist of your And Rudima, if you could just quote some simple example from your real-time learning where a teacher motivated you and automatically you found the pathway to learning there. Yes? Yes, ma'am. Ma so, when I was in grade five or six, at that point of time, I was pretty shy to come on stage. But then my teachers motivated me to come out of this fear of going on stage. And then when I first time went on the stage, my fear got away due to the motivation that the teachers gave to that me. That the teacher gave you, yes. So the stage fear went away and now you're a confident leader of the student council here. Ridhima, would you have any such exemplar to share with the community? And something that would motivate everyone is their desires. If we look at uh, it this way, English is a global necessity for us now. It's um, it That is the language that would bring us a little above on the global stage we all desire to have the best education we have we can have and if, if we look at our desires our goals somewhere it will include uh, education on a global global level so if we promote ourselves to uh, read write and encourage ourselves in the language skills specifically english that is a driving force for people is uh, their goal their international goal that they're looking at like studying in um, foreign institutions something that all of us dream so English language, that can be used as a motivation. As a motivation right. out there, yes. All right. I, I think here we are towards the end of the session here. I would like to thank each one of you for your extremely valuable input. Deepika, ma'am, for hand-holding. Uh, we have one question from the audience. If audience as well? Right? Yes. Let's look into this part. And I want to thank yes. everybody, especially Dr. N. Marian Harris, Harris out here, uh, Sangeeta Jolly, ma'am, uh, again, the other people who have been writing extremely motivating words out here. And Ruth, Okay, Masihi, ma'am, is uh, mentioning that her math teacher in class nine uh, motivated her automatically. Yes, a question from the audience. Yes, this yeah. is ma'am. It's from that. it's from Mr. Vishnu. Uh, so, ask how can we develop speaking and writing skills among non-English medium children? Uh, over there, obviously, maybe we are looking into a context where English is not the medium of instruction or is not the first language. And I think Pan-India, it is a reality in many places. One is we have to use the language first. We will also have to make the importance of language known to them all. And we have to start simple. Uh, an example is like what we do maybe in our preschoolers, uh, the different objects, we label them. So over here, it, it uh, the, the words become like cycles. Words. The moment it is used again and again, uh, the students are making their linkages that if this is a glass and glass is written on it, that maybe this word stands for this object out there. We role model, we give them an environment which is very rich in language. And obviously, at times, we may have to translate it into the mother tongue. Uh, occasionally, at times, so that the meaning is clear or use illustrations very strongly out there. So there are various strategies strategies which are available uh, due to paucity of session, it may not be possible to come into them all. But each one of us who's here does know multiple language. How does a child learn the language? A child who is a toddler, because everybody around the child are speaking that language. A child who does not come to school, who has not, each one of us was such a child at one point of time. How did we learn the language? Because the people around us were, were using that language. Yes. 
Uh, lovely Ray, ma'am, uh, is speaking about the mirror learning strategy out there. But again, I would like to say we will have to look at our students. There is no prescriptive strategy or one size that is fitting all. Every section of our class 12 is different. So we will have to change our teaching to that part. We look at our students. We look at our parent community. We look at ourselves. What do we have available which can accomplish the goals that, that we set out for ourselves? We put that together and learning happens. Yes, we are not just looking at what the others are doing. We also need to look at what do we find effective in our own ecosystem. So we have to be both inwardly looking and outwardly aware. Yes, that's how. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for this wonderful session for the LTI family, which was interactive, engaging and enriching. We are grateful to you for the various concepts and the insight that you have given us in skimming and scanning direct and indirect strategies, self-reflective practices, self-analysis, importance on mistake correction and self-development. So these were very, very important, ma'am. Thank you so much for this session. And we thank you everybody request joined. the LTI, yes, Dr. Sanskar to take over. Dr. Shankar Kumar, sir. In the meantime, I would like to propose the vote of thanks <laughs> to everybody who have invested their time and energies by connecting with us. Uh, we thank LTI for giving us such wonderful, meaningful sessions out here. And obviously, my huge gratitude to Arnab and Vidhaba and Dipika ma'am for making this session what it is. Yes, Dr. Shankar Kumar, sir, over yes. to you. Yeah, one minute, ma'am. Okay, yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. We can hear yes. you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it gives us very important and a great pleasure uh, to be a part of this wonderful webinar. And uh, we profoundly thank Priyanka ma'am for your uh, enthusiastic and highly energetic uh, talk uh, on various strategies for a student's success in an English language learning environment. And uh, of course, as uh, uh, the moderator has uh, really highlighted that, uh, uh, you know, the importance of uh, uh, various uh, strategies to be uh, followed. And especially uh, the students who have really reflected uh, what they have been practicing it uh, for, uh, for improvement in English language, especially, uh, you know, in, uh, in focusing on all the LSRW skills. Um, it is time to say a word of thanks very formally. I, on behalf of uh, English Language Teachers Association of India, thank you, uh, Ms. Priyanka Bhatkodi, Principal, Maxford School, Dwaraka, New Delhi, for uh, once again having accepted our invitation to be the person for today's webinar. And uh, I'm very much grateful to the moderator, Ms. Deepika Sharma, Headmistress, Senior Secondary, Maxford School, Dwaraka, New Delhi, for having moderated the session, ma'am. Thank you so much. And especially the student discussions, uh, Mr. Arnab and uh, Ms. Ridhika, uh, who are very enthusiastic in interacting with their teachers as well as highlighting that importance of the learning English language. So thank you so much and uh, we thank once again all the participants for uh, having enthusiastically participated and uh, uh, uploaded with a number of answers in chat box. Thank you so much and thank you once again. And the next week's webinar number 92 on 27th March 2022 at 4.25 p.m. Know Thy Neighbor, a translation as a, uh, as a mediator across cultures in India, for which the resource person is Professor Deependu Das, Professor, Department of English, Assam University, Silchar. 
and the session is going to be moderated by Dr. Sugata Kumar Nath, Associate Professor, Department of English, Assam University, Silchar. We request all participants to register once again and to have enthusiastic participation in the forthcoming webinar as well. Thank you and uh, see you in the next session. Thank you once again. Hope you might have enjoyed it the session on uh, strategies for student success in English language learning at the webinar number 91 organized by English Language Teachers Association of India. And we profoundly thank uh, Ms. Priyanka Bhatkodi, Principal Maxford School, Dwaraka, for having accepted our invitation to be the resource person for the session. And uh, we thank the moderator, Ms. Deepika Sharma, Headmistress, Senior Secondary Maxford School, Dwaraka, New Delhi, for having moderated the session. And uh, the student discussions, Mr. Arnab and Mr. Ridhima, for having uh, been enthusiastic in interacting with their uh, teachers and in uh, telling the ways of uh, learning the English language strategies. And we welcome you all to the webinar number 92 on 27th March 2022 at 4.25 p.m. on Know Thy Neighbors, uh, translation as a mediator across cultures in India, and which is going to be conducted by English Language Teachers Association of India. The resource person is Professor Deependu Das, Department of English, Assam University, Silchar, and uh, the session is going to be moderated by Dr. Sugata Kumar Nath, Associate Professor, Department of English, Assam University, Silchar. We went, once again welcome you all to this next week's webinar, and a happy Sunday evening, and we will meet you in the next week. Thank you, and see you.